It is so easy to grab shoes right now. I just, I don't want to jinx anything, so knock on wood. But I totally dig it, man. I totally dig it. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. These are, as far as sneakers is concerned, being called the Air Jordan 7 in white and infrared, which they clearly look like, but on the box it actually says white, crimson, and black. So this is not actual infrared apparently, which is interesting. But either way, when we look at these, we know what they're doing. I do find it a little bit weird that these are releasing before an Air Jordan 6 white and infrared that's remastered with the Nike Air on the back, especially for a very specific reason, and I'll get into that in just a moment. But before we get started, do you like my shirt? Because I know I do. We actually left due to high demand, the pre-order window open an extra couple of days. So by the time you're seeing this video, this will probably be the last day to order. So make sure that you do so. Orders will be filled or fulfilled within four to six weeks. Pre-orders will close today, whatever day today might be. The 20th. The 20th. So with that being said, we've got an icy outsole and an Air Jordan 7. Interesting look. I really like it. I think that it looks really cool. I love the outsoles of the 7s in general. I especially love when they're multicolored and things like that. It just really plays into the 90s feel and the overall design aesthetic that Tinker was going for way back in 1992. This one's a little bit more simple. You just got the simple infrared and black and everything like that. And the icy sole is what really makes it pop. So I think that it looks great. It will be interesting to see when these things turn yellow, like how they actually look. These soles nowadays aren't yellowing quite as fast as they used to at least not in my experience anyways so it might take quite a while for that to actually happen i will say though that when you do compare this to say like the air jordan 6 i do think that the heel clear sole hits a little bit different when there's an air unit there i'm just saying it looks a little bit more special but nonetheless still looks great here so it is what it is and then the midsole itself originally was polyurethane whereas i believe that the retros are actually phylon because they don't crumble quite like the originals did but don't quote me on that it could be polyurethane it could just be a really dense version that maybe doesn't crumble quite as fast but either way the original air jordan 7 does crumble so be careful with those if you happen to own any whereas i've not seen a retro version of the shoe crumble yet one thing to note though is that the tech specs of the shoe are definitely different in the retros than they are in the originals so the original shoe featured the polyurethane midsole with a heel and four foot air unit and they were both encapsulated so they were not visible whereas these retros actually switch things up a little bit they've always done this since the beginning of the retro of the seven for whatever reason where it's a full length top loaded air unit and while this is not the exact air unit that is in here this is essentially the setup right here so i think that it's quite interesting it's also top loaded just like this so underneath the insole is the strobel and then the air sole unit it's not encapsulated like you would normally get in an air jordan 7 the original that is so yeah these are kind of like protros before they started doing protros and i just always have found that to be very neat and interesting this is actually what the air jordan 2 setup was for all of its retro renditions outside of the 1994-95 versions and since they've remastered them with i think it was the off-white lows were the first ones since that release onward they've been originally tech specs so heel encapsulated air and that's it but yeah full length air in these bad boys and i think that that's a great move this is actually one of the early models that is very fun to play in so if you have not hooped in a pair of air jordan 7s i actually do recommend them now the insole is interesting because it is dream cell but the interesting part is actually not the material that they used instead it's the graphic why is there nike air on here this is not an original colorway. I do know that this is an original colorway for a different shoe, but Jordan Brand has been very, very consistent. That's like the only thing that they've been consistent with is new colors, what was once known as Retro Plus, feature a Jumpman, whereas original colors feature Nike Air, except with the rare instance that there's a collab or some kind of weird original story like those Chicago uh, Unite 3s, what was it, the top three fives, things like that, like very random, very loose, and obvious that they're pointing to an original story but borrowing colors from one shoe to the next they have not done that so i think that that's very interesting obviously they're kind of saved on the rest of the shoe there's no nike branding traditionally on an air jordan 7 they did try that recently with those weird ones i don't i don't even know what they were called and nike air just doesn't look good on the back it just doesn't so why this is in there probably cost cutting measure it's probably just easier they probably have a ton of air jordan 7 insoles lying around and they're like just put them in there just do it 
Now the materials on these are pretty nice. Uh, they're not premium or anything like that, but the cuts of leather are fairly thick uh, with the exception of the wings up here. It's actually like two different versions of material. So the outside material is actually leather. You can see that in all of the cuts. And then the backing material is more of a vinyl. It's a synthetic, but the rest of the materials are actual leather. And like I said, they're okay. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like is just kind of the weird fake tumbled texture that they got on there. I just never really loved that. I don't mind it when it's textured as far as like a really thin polyurethane coat. So you could just kind of see the natural grain of the leather poking through. But when they make it like pebbly like this, it just looks cheap. And that's unfortunate because I think that the leather behind the coating is actually nicer than what they actually show on the outside. Again, not premium or anything, but when we're talking about Jordan brand, this is about as premium as we can get. It's just one of those things. I do like the overlays though. The overlays are more of a smooth leather, like something that we'd normally see. Still got a thickish polyurethane coat on there, so it doesn't look like genuine leather or anything, but like I said, it is what it is. Now, much like the traditional white infrared Air Jordan 6, the Air Jordan 7 version features a white tongue with a black upper, and obviously they added a little bit of extra on this one. So instead of the uh, big, bold infrared Jumpman that's on that little like lace snappy thing from the Air Jordan 6, they actually made the lettering because that's the only branding on there. They made that the infrared or crimson color. One thing that some people might not like is that there's not the traditional kind of like graphic on the Air Jordan 7 here. It's just simply a plain white and black look and it kind of takes away a little bit of the flavor or the uniqueness of the Air Jordan 7, especially when that graphic is different on every single pair. So everybody kind of has a different shoe. So that's something that some people might not love. However, the colorway still looks good. So it is what it is. I guess this could be like a consolation prize until the actual Air Jordan 6 white and infrared releases. And yeah, it'll happen. I just don't know when. Branding on the side, very simple. Jumpman logo, both facing the right way, which is cool. And then the rear is probably my favorite thing on the Air Jordan 7. I love this little tab right here. I just don't think that they did it right. I wish that the main body of it was infrared and then everything else was white and black. You know what I mean? I think that that would have popped a little bit more than just having the 23B color. Last tech spec, underrated feature, internal booty, just like the Air Hirachi, which actually just retro, they sold out. I couldn't believe it. That was a outlet find back in the day. I don't know what the f going on. Some stuff is sitting, some stuff is selling out. The things that you think are gonna sit, sell. The things that you think are gonna sell, sit. Now, as far as sizing is concerned with an Air Jordan 7, it's very simple. You can go true to size or you can go down half a size. Some people prefer down half a size primarily, much like they do in the Air Jordan 6. These have very minimal padding within the shoe. Mostly it's just from the internal booty, but true to size is what's mostly recommended. So if all else fails, go true to size. Very comfortable shoe, good on court, good off court. Now, all you gotta do is wait for a colorway that you like. And I think that the Air Jordan 7 could be one of your favorite early Air Jordan models. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you are interested, interested in these things, they will be available at all Jordan brand retailers. If you're in our area, you can check out our local spot, which is Phenom. They're here in the Sacramento and Elk Grove area. So you can check them out. They also have another location in Minnesota and everything. So you can check them out as well. Make sure that you follow their socials. It's simply Phenom 916 for our area shop. And then the other one is just simply Phenom Global. But sound off below and let us know what you think about these in the comment section. Is this a hit? Is this a miss? Is it too true flight? Or are you just waiting for the sixes? Maybe you like the sevens a little bit more, but you have appreciate the Air Jordan 6 colorways. So maybe this is something that's right up your alley. Sound off below and let us know. Thank you once again for being here. We greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys, have a good one.